Question 8 then from paper 1 of the 2021 Higher Maths Resource Paper. 3 mark question 4. Determine the equation of this line. You're showing this line. There's a point given on the line because you always need that. You need a point on the line. You need its gradient. Now, you're not given its gradient, but you're given the same thing. You're given the angle that it makes to the x-axis. So, first step will be, what's its gradient? Well, the gradient is the tangent of the angle. So it'll be the tangent of 2 pi upon 3, which you'll notice is too big because it's more than a right angle. So you'll need to change that. So you can just think, just use your little diagram that you put down your all sine tan cos. If you're over at 2 pi upon 3, there were in radians here. You could do it in your head in degrees if you like, but you should really practice doing it in radians. Halfway round is pi radians, because that's the pair you remember. Pi radians is 180 degrees. So that would be a whole pi. Now that's two thirds of it, so that's over here. Now the angle you actually use to get the figure for the sine, the cos of the tan, is the acute angle to the horizontal. So with a 2 pi upon 3, the acute angle will be what's left over. Well, if you've gone two thirds, there's one third left over. So that'll be the same as the tangent of pi upon 3. Only in this quadrant, tangent's negative, only the sine's positive. Now you've got, what's the tangent of pi upon 3? Well, that's one, it's paper one, so it must be one of the ones you know. So now I'm going to put down another diagram. I'm going to put down my little 60 30 triangle. So I'm just going to sneak in 60 and 30. Where 60 is the pi upon 3, and 30 is the pi upon 6. And there it goes 1, 2, root 3. It's quite an easy one to remember because it's 1, 2, 3. And obviously 2 is bigger than root 3 because 2 is root 4. So 2 must go there, 1 is the smallest, and the smallest one goes opposite the smallest angle. They'll open out according to, the angles open out according to how big their sides are, corresponding sides. So, what's the tangent of 60? It's the opposite of the adjacent, root 3 upon 1, so that's just negative root 3. Pull all of that just for the one mark. No, it's not, there's two marks for that. There was one for knowing that the gradient was the tangent of the angle, and then there was a mark for actually putting it in. Well, that just leaves one for the line then. So for the line, you're just going to say y minus b equals mx minus a. Where the point you're going to use is 4, 0. And the gradient, oh, I've got it stated above, is that. So y minus the y coordinate will be the gradient times x minus the x coordinate. Just tidy it up. So that's negative root 3x. And then it's going to be plus 4 times root 3. That's the third mark.